that's basically what a lot of people in Kansas City think happens every time a thunderstorm or tornado rolls in from the west. Locals call it the Tonganoxie Split, which is named after the town of Tonganoxie, Kansas, which sits about 28 miles west of Kansas City. Area legend says the small town has the physical or even mystical power to cause tornadoes and storms to split and weaken, sparing the Kansas City metro area from inclement weather. So if that Balrog is a tornado, Gandalf is the town of Tonganoxie, and the rest of us are the Fellowship of the Ring, safely on the other side. It's a myth around here that many people seem to believe, at least partially, but I wanted to see where it came from and if there was any science to back it up. The idea of the split likely originated in the mid-1800s as a misunderstanding of a decree supposedly delivered by Chief Tonganoxie of the Delaware tribe, whom the town is named after. It's said that Tonganoxie stated there would be no more storms, but he was probably referring to an end to violence in the area, rather than the weather itself. The myth appears to have been made popular in the 80s and 90s by local weather forecasters. They would blame the split whenever their storm predictions turned out to be inaccurate. Okay, but is there any reality to the matter? Well, ironically, scientists are split on the idea. Some said that heat absorbed and readmitted by Kansas City's many roads and buildings could influence storms. Others said that the larger structures help split winds. But overall, a lot of the experts didn't see enough evidence to see if the split actually existed, at least consistently. But the split isn't perfect. In May 2000, a tornado tore through Tonganoxie, causing millions of dollars of damages. Several large storms and tornadoes have hit large cities recently, including St. Louis just this spring, and a small one in Kansas City this summer, which suggests that the weather patterns that often protect urban areas could be changing. But for a lot of residents in Tonganoxie, the evidence for if the split exists doesn't really matter. It speaks to something about there being a broader presence watching over the Kansas City metro. For KCUR 89.3, I'm Maya Cedarland.